Yeah, buddy. We got us another load for today. First, we're gonna go on a little walk, try to get some exercise in, and I'll let you know where we're heading. Stay tuned. Peace out. Let's go see if we can check in a little early. I don't gotta be there until one, so I'll be like an hour, hour and a half early. Oh, sorry about that. I'll be an hour and a half early. And we're gonna make it happen. So, so far this week, since we did the, uh, what we got back on Saturday, so s Sunday or Monday early morning. Why did I get one? Monday early morning. Uh, I was just looking for that guy got a ticket and the other guy got a ticket, but I didn't get a ticket. Uh, maybe I was parked at the perfect spot. Um, so. Monday morning, we did some in-town stuff. Bam, bam, made a good good day. Today it's Tuesday. Um, we got another good load. Need some fuel. We got another load heading up to St. George. That's like 100 miles away from here, like 120 miles um, from where I'm picking up to where I am dropping off. Take me about a good hour, about two hours to get there, because I don't drive fast. You could get there an hour and 30 minutes, hour 40, depends on what part and how fast you drive. But, um, but yeah, so we're going to pick that up. We're excited about that. But before we get into that, I wanted to go over some stuff with you guys. I was looking over my unpaid invoices, which I don't have many, because uh, I usually just go through my factory company. But at the time, um, at the time I was switching factory companies. So my previous factory company was charging way too much uh, to factor my loads. And, um, you know, I got a really good quote from another factory company. I like their system. I don't have to call and talk to anybody. Everything is just uh, through an app. My other factory company was like through a web browser. Like you had to go to a web browser and you had to go, like took time just to, uh, just to see if the load you're trying to take is factory. And this new factory company, it takes seconds. You know, open up the app, press one button, copy, paste, MC. I mean, immediately you get an answer like that. The other one I had to put, go to the web browser, go to a certain part of the app. Then I had to type in like all this stuff, like how much the load is, uh, the name, and the MC, and just all this other stuff. And then you have to wait for the broker to look at the information and click a button and say yes, you can run a load for them. The new company, like I said, open up the app, put in the MC, immediately it'll tell me they're factorable. No, they're not factorable. Um, but anyways, so this was the time where I was in transition. The old factory company was taking forever to uh, give me the uh, my release form. Is with the, every factory company, even if they say no contract or anything like that, you're still in a bond with them. They're, they they put like a, a hold on your account, so other factory companies can't factor your load. You have to get a letter of release from them. So I was waiting for a letter of release because they kept coming back like, hey, we can do it for this much, but it still wasn't as cheap as the uh, the company I'm with. You know, they're just you know just because that company. Uh, factory rate is cheap, doesn't mean they're a good company. You get what you pay for. I'm like, I understand that, but they're highly recommended. Uh, you know, I've had nothing but problems with you guys. 
some loads like you know I can I scan all my documents and turn it in and, and they will still say that the documents I turned in was something was wrong with them so I can never get same day pay um, and that's what I want I want same day pay or you know at least next day pay I want my money right away I don't want to have to wait three days two days I want it within an hour if it's in uh, regular business hours but anyways um, so they're taking forever it took them like a week almost two weeks for them to send me a letter of release but I'm doing loads, and uh, so long story short is I did a load with a company who uh, I sort of took in consideration of uh, whatever load board you go on to, they have a score, and if you look at their DMT number, you go to the web browser, type it in, there's a way you can find out their uh, loan credit history are how much loan credit they have and all this stuff like that um, and I didn't do that but I'm thinking okay this looks like a good company they got decent ratings most of the people in DAT are uh, truck path whatever load board you use to get your loads um, rare that you see a four star or three star most of them are midway like coyote has the worst star rating uh, every low bar i've ever went to i think they have like one and a half stars or a half star it's just horrible anyways um so i was like all right i did their um, some companies offer you know next day pay for a percentage or you can wait 28 days to 30 days for them just to send you a check or direct deposit it into your account. Well, this company, I'm not going to say their name. I did email. I did call. Nobody's picking up. It's been over 30 days and I still haven't received my money. So, long story short, if you're not working with a factory company, you're taking a risk. I'm not telling you to work with a factory company. Uh, but if you do decide not to use a factory company and wait for 30 days, 28 days, just make sure you vet the, the uh, broker. Make sure they have a good rating. Make sure they have a uh, good credit rating. And make sure that they're signed with the uh, Better Business Brewer. I can't say it. Um, so if you do run into a, a, a case to where they didn't pay you, you can take some type of legal action or leave a comment or something like that. Now, I'm not at the point to where I have to take legal action at the moment. At least I don't feel that way right now. Uh, like I said, I emailed them. I called. I haven't got a response yet. Um, I emailed them yesterday. So they still got a couple of days. I'm going to give them at least two to three business days to get back to me before I really get nervous. Even though I'm nervous now, but before I get super nervous, I'm gonna give them two to three business days to respond to my email. Um, I'm gonna give them another call, and maybe a follow-up email, and then I'm gonna have to go from there. Um, but just make sure you vet these brokers. Make sure they have credit. Heck, I mean, uh, there's, I know there was a free app out there. Not free, yeah, there's a free, uh, there's a free load board app. You don't pay monthly or nothing. They have loads on there. And they have a factory part of their uh, load board. They're like a load board slash factory company. Um, they will allow you to see if that company that broker has credit if they're factorable with you know with them and if they're factorable with these these guys I'm pretty sure they have good credit good standards um, I'll probably leave a link down there at the bottom in the, the descriptions click the link if you want to sign up uh, or use the free low board do it if you sign up with that factory company if you're looking to switch factory companies make sure you uh I'll leave a link down there, help me out, help you out. I think we 
we both get the same, uh, we get the same little promotion rate. Um, I'll leave that down there for you. But yeah, so that's what I'm going through right now. It's always something, right? Um, but let's go pick up this load. You guys will not guess where I'm going to get this load from. Um, all of these water loads, I guess I just told you, that I'm doing are from several different brokers. Don't know how that is. I only took this one because I'm going to St. George. I would never take a water load out of the state just because how heavy it is. When you're leaving um, Las Vegas, you're going to go up some pretty steep hills. And I don't like going up heavy up hills. But this one was like 35,000 pounds, which is still heavy. But I've taken 35,000 pounds up steeper hills and we made it fine. It's not something that I would want to put my truck through every load. But uh, heading up to St. George, the hill that I'm concerned with is not that steep. It is not that long. I don't mind steep hills if it's just steep for a, a half mile or a mile. But if it's huge, steep, like, you know, you're climbing for 13 miles, 20 miles, just climbing uphill, and, it, and it's a crazy hill, uh, I'm not doing it. So, and if it's going, if it's a heavy load going somewhere I've never been before, uh, I'm not doing it. Just because I want to, I'm not beating up my truck. This is, it's not worth it. it. You know, the maintenance and all that stuff is just not worth it, and I can't afford it at the moment, so... Um, so yeah, so load is heavy, is what I consider a heavy load, but where we're heading is not, you know, it's an hour away, so it's under an hour and 30, or actually it's more than an hour and 30, it's almost two hours away, but, you know, I'm going to get it done, that's what I'm trying to say. So let's go pick up this load, baby. And if you have any questions, like where I'm getting my loads from, how I look for my loads locally, let me know down there. Even though at the moment, I might spill those beans. I don't those beans, but I don't know because uh, because just last week I was thinking of hanging it up. Like I said, I didn't. I don't want to go OTR. I don't want. I don't even want to go regional. I want to go, you know, I guess regional. But like I said, I'm doing Vegas, California. Uh, Arizona and sometimes Utah that's what I do I'm not going any further than that I'm not going to Texas I'm not going up to Oakland and Vegas the furthest I go up that way uh, was that north or is that south the furthest I go up, uh, up is uh, uh, Oakland no I won't even go to Oakland I'll go to Bakersfield maybe Fresno or in between Fresno and Bakersfield, that's the furthest I'll go up that way. Um, and heading up to Phoenix, um, I'm not going any further than uh, Tulsa or Tucson. I don't know what, how to pronounce it, but you know I'll stay in the Phoenix area. I'm not going further than that. Um, and Utah. If the rate is good, I'll go up to Salt Lake, but I don't even want to go to Salt Lake because once you get to Salt Lake, you're stuck. You know, you can go, and the most of the loads coming out of there are going to another crappy spot. It'll go from Salt Lake to Denver, Colorado. And Denver and Salt Lake market is garbage. So, uh, you know, I'm not doing that. They don't get, you know, I might do it if it's. They pay enough for me to go up there and uh, deadhead out of there, like down back to Vegas, basically. Um, and it's straight through. I go there, drop off, and I can turn around and come back home the same day. Um, and it's paying over $1,400. i will do it from here. But if they're trying to pay $1,011, even $1,400, I'm like, because oh, I'm going to be losing. If I take it for $1,400, if I take it for 14 and it's drop off next day I'm basically wasting two days and I have to deadhead back home and it's gonna cost me about about 500 bucks to do a round trip I don't think I can make it all the way home off of about 400 bucks round trip so I'll be 
it just won't be worth it uh, to do to waste two days on one load. Um, but hey, don't take cheap freight, guys. Make sure you, if you don't have a broker company, make sure you vet uh, our broker. If you don't have a factory company, make sure you vet whatever broker you're working with to make sure they have uh, good credit, enough credit to. Uh, to uh, take care of your load and make sure they have good ratings and make sure uh, you can you know, see some reviews, find some reviews on them and stuff like that. And try your best to work with brokers that you've worked with before if you don't have a factory company. Or, you know, make sure you ask them if they have, if they offer, uh, if they factor loads or offer, you know, next day pay or two days pay and they take a percentage if they do offer that I would take I would do that you know they do take a percentage but at least if they don't pay you you know next day or two days you know you can file a claim and get your money before you know you wait 30 days and it's you and 25 other carriers trying to get money from them and you have to wait in line hopefully you're paid so Let's get some fuel and keep it moving. That was awesome. For those who checked out the live, I appreciate you guys. It must have made a mistake. I had the green light, then it went back red. I walked in there. They said they uh, missed a couple of pallets. So I'm heading to a... Uh, I'm heading to a... Uh, was it Dollar Tree or something distribution center? So, whatever. Good old True Line. There we go. Look at them. They got it down. Walmart. Hey, I need a. Uh... But yeah, we're back here at Niagara, getting it in. To everybody who uh, who uh, joined the live, that is awesome. I really do appreciate you guys. But uh, yeah, we're getting this load here at Na Niagara. Heading up to uh, St. George, Utah. And then we're coming back home. We should be home tonight. Cool little four hour round trip. Plus the, taking forever, usually it's like 45 minutes. But it's been almost, uh, almost two hours. So we're gonna see what's going on. I'm gonna wash my hands. So I hate the feel of dirty hands. Even though I wear gloves, hands still feel dirty even though they have these are these even sanitary like are they safe do they, do they just use filtered water like how does uh ooh, these things are hot anyways let's get back to it all right hopefully the audio is good i got my headset in about time it took forever it took them uh that was the longest I've ever had to sit there and wait. And then our appointment's at 7 Utah, Utah time, so it's 3 o'clock right now, Utah. 2 o'clock here in Vegas, 3 o'clock Utah time. Um, you know, see, you know. So, uh, Three, four, five, six, seven. So we got four hours to make it to our appointment. But we're only an hour and a half away. So hopefully there's not any major delays on the highway because they are doing construction work. I know at nighttime, you know, around 11, 11 to 5 at night, not that much traffic build up but uh, we're gonna see hopefully we can make it they said they might have to reschedule for tomorrow but I'm gonna need some more money than detention because I wouldn't have taken it if it was pick up today drop off tomorrow type, type deal so hopefully that uh, we get there in time I know they kept calling me like hey they're gonna make it if not let us know we're rescheduled for tomorrow and I'm like uh, you know, the little $100 detention. 
Unless they can get me early in the morning tomorrow, 5 o'clock in the morning. 5 a.m., 6 a.m. or something, but... But, uh... Nah, I want to get this over with and get home, so... We're going to see. Hopefully, uh... Hopefully... Let's see the car. Hopefully, we're all good in the head, man. Oh. they can take me in is 6.30. So, we're going to come back. He said that we can park across the street. So, this is just like, um, kind of just like Walmart. The way Walmart's set up with the appointments and all that stuff. If you're late to the Family Dollar Distribution Center, they have to reschedule for tomorrow. If you're lucky, they will uh, they will uh, fit you in. But it's kind of weird that they want you here on time and all that stuff, but it's nowhere to stage at. Like, hopefully, I can park over here across the street and turn around and stuff. Because, yeah, I don't see, he better not be lying to me or I'm going to have to put a hurting on him. Should have brought some snacks. I'm hungry. Ain't nothing out here. You're like in the middle of nowhere. They're building a lot of houses out here on this clay dirt. It's 
not a big enough gap for me to turn around. They need to at least have staging if I get here uh, you know, two hours early or something like that. If they're not, their parking lot or staging lot is not packed, they should allow me to uh, wait there while I get checked in or something. But let's see, let's see if they're fast as, uh, okay. let's see if they're fast as Walmart once I get in there. Looks like we're gonna have to sit here and wait for uh, wait until six o'clock. He says six thirty. Thirty minutes before my scheduled time, I can check in. So we're gonna park right here and see what happens. All right, guys. Alright, we are all checked in. A little bit more tedious, tedious here, tedious. <laughs> a little bit more tedious here, if that's the word. I'm checking in, there's a lot of paperwork you gotta fill out and ID and all that stuff at Walmart. You know, just gave my paper. I just couldn't check in, you know. I think they let the they allowed me to check in an hour earlier from uh, my departure time. Yeah, I have been here before. I dropped off a trailer and picked up a trailer. I was doing a loadout though. Huh, anyways. Um, so, I forgot what I was talking about. So I just remembered this yard. Uh, but yeah, Walmart's a little bit easier getting in. Here, I guess the broker that I'm contracted with they haul freight for family dollar so I don't have to worry about lumper which is a good thing I've heard some horror stories Jay told me he was here once uh, delivering a I believe for Amazon it sound like and he had to come out of pocket for lumper and I'm not trying to come out of pocket for anything I feel if I have to come out of pocket for lumper, I get to charge 5% of whatever the lumper fee. So I want my money back plus 5%. You know. I don't get why we can't make any standard rules or have a contract that the broker um, is required to agree to as well. Like, I should be able to um, this should be a standard, so people are not price gouging. But on detention time, I should be able to set detention time pay. You know, if I charge two hundred dollars for detention, and I give them three hours of my time, like I get here and I have to wait three to four hours to get unloaded, I should be able to charge either by the hour or a standard flat rate. But whatever. I'm going to fill this out and run into this office and get back to you. I'm missing my other camera. Just I wish I could just have it on my chest so I can show you guys the interactions of uh, checking in and all that stuff. But make sure no truck don't hit me. But unfortunately, I'm working off the phone. I'm going to get my camera uh, situation handled here soon hopefully but if you guys like my content you really want me to upgrade my cameras hit that like button hit that subscribe button and leave a comment down there i don't care if it's a comment or a poop emoji smiley face whatever just leave a comment down there and uh that would help me out a lot all right let's get uh checked in
Nobody here yet. I'm gonna wait patiently. See what happens. That is gorgeous. It's like picture perfect right there. It might that might be my thumbnail over there. Look at those mountains with that cloud behind it. That is gorgeous. Dang it. The yard jockey's messing up my perfect picture. <gasps> it's gonna hit my truck. That is cool. Let's go get on the door. It says it's gonna take uh, anywhere from one to two hours. If it's a pallet, if it's a four load, one to three hours. So let's hopefully it doesn't take that long because it, it's not busy at all here. So let's get it going. All right, guys, we are out of here. It's getting dark. We worked a full day. Still gotta make it home to the babies. Um, didn't take that long to get unloaded here at Family Dollar. It's not busy today. I don't, I don't know if it's ever busy or whatnot, but it took them like 30 minutes. It was took longer for me to check in than it did for them to unload the truck. took the pallets off. I don't even think it was 30, 40 minutes. I watched a little bit of uh, Pony Trucker. Pony, I think it's Pony Trucker. I uh, watched his live. I caught his live. And, uh, you know, I think I watched the live for 15 minutes. And I saw the green light and went in there. So, let's see. Any, uh... Yeah, I'm going to jump out right here. And Get her going. Alright guys. Till the next time. Peace out.